Oh, Nick. How are you keeping? You still at it? Oh, yes. Coming <laughs> away another party on the hour. Ready for next year? Yeah. So, three cheers for Donegal. Hip, no. hip. Hip, hip. Hooray! And this is the day after the great big day all wonder. First All Ireland. And the sun going down as the train arrives for Sligo. A lovely sunset. And the train will be arriving in. It's now, what time is it now? 25 past 7. 25 past 7. And the train should be coming into Sligo at half 8 and going on to Bundorn and then on to Donegal, on to Ballyshannon. Shannon waiting for the Donegal team home and the first man to to hear us come all the way from New York to be here. Uh -huh. What are your comments on this game? Oh, very good indeed. <laughs> this is Leo Gallagher all the way from New York. Huh? Here we have Michael Levani over here. Michael what have you to say about the whole thing? <laughs> Go away. <ahead. Huh? laughs> Huh? Well, no man gonna... What about this man over here? What does he think of the situation now? 
Any comments? <laughs> no, no comment at the moment. No. We're doing this for the area club, so. Very shy, people are very yeah. shy. Here we have the fire brigade out now to help tonight. Liam Kane. Any comments, Liam? What is your purpose here tonight? Well, the only comment I'll make is that uh, we thought the Cusick stand was a long stand, but I think we're in for a longer. <laughs> what do you intend doing here tonight, Liam? Well, like everybody else, we'd like to congratulate uh, the Donegal team, and we're just going to try and do a small water display here at the bridge. By a water display, what do you what do you what do you envisage here? Uh, all I can say is, uh, if you wait and see, and uh, if you're recording this. Uh, we're doing this on account of uh, one of our members, Teddy Cain, who's in Sligo General Hospital tonight. He spent his life supporting the GAA and uh, we thought that on his account we definitely uh, would come out and try and do something just in memory of the occasion and we're delighted to be here. And well knowing Teddy, he'll be back playing for Aru again, no doubt about that. Well, I know Teddy, and I think you're right, yes. Thanks, Liam. Paddy now has something to say to us. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> kind of beer, Colin. Kind of beer. <laughs> Fitting. Some reference there to the dubs. I don't know. I didn't catch it. <laughs> Tone it here. There's, there's a chief. There's a chief there. <laughs> we have Tony Cummins here. Whatever, whatever the chief said, I'll second it all. Who's the chief? <laughs> Liam. Very good. Bye, Billy. <laughs> bye, bye, Billy. I've experienced him. <laughs> well done. That's Buddy Green here, says, well done. Joy. No, no, no. <laughs> no <problem. laughs> Just to say we're delighted. Just the best day ever, right? We're delighted. Thanks, Iron. Very good. <laughs> And the manager of our Horn team, he might have a comment for us for Billy. Could you turn around here for Billy? Turn around for Billy here. You just tell him, where's the cork man? <laughs> Hello, Billy, how's it going? <laughs> you see him? Young supporters here now. Get a few shots in there. Oh, aye. Right. Here's on the. Put them in there. We have um, Jimmy O'Connell and Peter Gallagher, club stalwarts. Morris McLaughlin. Johnny Gallagher, I think it is. I'm very happy to have this job. Very pleasant. All these great, great helpers. You know, and I hope the whole the night goes very well. And I think it will with all this crowd. Looking forward to county final next hour. <laughs> oh, it's marvellous. <laughs> oh, great, great. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you. So, where in the hell are they? <laughs> They're on their way. Where from? Are they even doing yet? Yeah. yeah. Lovely. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Enjoy the night. Yes, really. of course, of course. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> across the road we have Mick McGrath Senior across the road there. <laughs> Francis Cain. <Kane. laughs> Hi Francis. <laughs> oh, and here we have 
Here we have Cahill and Mary Gallagher. What's your comment? <laughs> Great. Mighty Mighty. Brilliant. Mighty. <laughs> Mighty is right. <laughs> How the hell are you? Well, <laughs> 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 How are you, Billy? Are you well? Well, I just thought that the match was very good and that when they come through tonight, I hope all the supporters will be here to support them 100%. I will be here no matter what time they come through. That's a luminous headband. I'm trying my best to get it brighter. I'm heating it up here, so... The heat improves it? It does, it does, yeah. So, I'm going to be here no matter what time it is to see them come through. Very good, that's the spirit. Right. They chatting up the women. <laughs> what have you saying? <laughs> <laughs> the wife watching. <laughs> well, you haven't watched, what have you to say at this stage? Oh, it's all made. They're <laughs> <laughs> blessed among women. That's all right, no need yours. Chewy, come on in here and give me a hand. They're taking a hand at me. Chewy <laughs> <laughs> McGuire, the former ref. <laughs> I've never seen men run the way from me as fast. No. What are you open the way? Here we are. We are. These ladies, these ladies like to give speak in. Take away. You're, you're, you've travelled from where? That's right, I travelled from Kerry. I'm a Johnny Gall woman. I travelled from Kerry to Croke Park yesterday and I did, made a detour today. I made a detour today. Instead of going back to Kerry, I came to Valley Shannon for the celebrations because we've waited long enough for this. Are we? I'm living in Tarbert, but I'm a native of Valley Shannon. And how does our celebration compare to this Kerry celebrations? In the well, past? to be quite honest, the Kerry celebrations, I never got in, interested in them because my heart was always in Donegal, GA. Quite enough affair, I suppose. Well, I suppose they're so used to it. This is our first time in Donegal, and it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. And it was a pleasure to be in Croke Park it's yesterday. It's taken for granted, I suppose. In Kerry, yes, it's taken for granted. But uh, I'd love to watch it on video now where I could relax and enjoy it. When the three points, <laughs> when there's just three points up on the board, I was always afraid of the quick Dublin goal. Well, if you can wait till tomorrow, I'm sure we'll have it on video by then. <laughs> <laughs> we don't time for TV before that. No, I want to watch it on where I can relax. Right. When I know the, the score now, I could relax and watch it. Well, this isn't the Kerry woman from the oh, Abbey. Oh, God, no, I'm from the Abbey indeed. Enjoying your time. Oh, absolutely. It's just absolutely marvellous. Fantastic. From Finner, yes. Uh, and I'm from Belik. Belik is Valley. And she's from New York. From Chicago, huh? All the way from New York. Yeah. Who are we here? Over for the Southern Game. Pardon? 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 What's your name? Eileen Keown. Very good. Made of the town. Yeah, I'm originally from Donegal. And you came specially for the game. There's more supporters the way through. This is marvellous. All the way from New York. Yeah. Westchester County. <laughs> Anne McNulty, the quietest man in town tonight. Oh yes, I'm, I'm the horse tied at the bridge end here. Right? <laughs> You're the horse. I died a few weeks ago. Uh, oh yes, horse power. It used to be ass power, but it's horse power now. <laughs> oh, right, thank you folks. See you all. I that the pub should all close and we all should go home and uh, rest in bed because really there's a match next Sunday in the championship and we really have to be fit and trained. And what are you yeah, saying on an occasion like this? In the morning when they get here. Oh, well, I don't know what time it'll be here, but the hell with it. There's no light in that, so we're safe enough. Is that video on? No? Uh, there's Moya Gallagher. Yes. Freshly in from uh, the mall for the game. This is fab fabulous. Fabulous. Thank you, Billy Finn. <laughs> I don't know that. Thank <laughs> People watching this now. Give us a song, buddy. We move on up. I think we're long enough for the one spot, Tom. We're long enough for the one spot. Alright, we've got a good one. Who's there? Hello, thank you guys. Right? Ah, and he was shaving with a battery radio and this old fella come along and said to him give me out that if you want me to sing a song <laughs> so he handed him the battery uh, razor and your fella well, said that's, that's not a razor no. <laughs> I know you know you're keen how could I support Kerry football <laughs> so you worked with my father for years in the bakery you're not on the Gallagher's, are you? Aye, that's who I am now. <laughs>
<laughs> That's who I am. <laughs> I used to come in the morning for the bun. <laughs> Uh, Lace it. Huh? Lace it, corner bar. Mad drunk. Great crack. Oh, this is mighty, man. The big oh, pack. Uh, the doors were shut at 2 o'clock, man. Mighty. <laughs> Not a fine display. Hey, <laughs> Rafferty, shoot this man. Come back here. Well, what have you to say about the situation now? Sam after him. <laughs> Anthony Breslin here, well? Yeah, great, I'm great. The happiest man in Bally Shannon. <laughs> That's right. I suppose you'll be going on down to Nave Breed Social Centre afterwards. I hope so. <laughs> then you say hello to Matt, my old friend. Yeah? Very good. That's it. Is Barney something to say now? <laughs> This will be all shown on the big screen in the Abbey Centre. Is that right? Coyle's right. right. Corner, another group of supporters. <laughs> well, boys, what's the crack? Great. Is this better than the County Minor Championship last Sunday? Definitely. No, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Brian Roper here. Terrier of the Minor team. What have you to say? I say it was a great win. <laughs> a great win. Great weekend. We were all happy. <laughs> and it was nearly better than yesterday's, if I could do something. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we, we, play, we play the same kind of football. I think they learned it from us now. Seriously. I hear it was all Miller's went into the Minor Cup. Do you think will it be Miller's for this cup as well, for well, Sam? I, I hope so now. I really do hope so. Keep, keep up with the, you know, Tradition. Tradition. <laughs> Around in here. Tradition, we're talking here like. So Any other comments who wants to speak here? Captain, Captain, Captain of the minor team. Uh, yes, I just special thanks to uh, Herman McNeilis, because he was there in spirit and in body, but he wasn't on the field to show his influence. And, uh, <laughs> did, he, did he sponsor the Minners? He did, and uh, he filled the cup with coke for us up in the mail <laughs> so that night. And as well, the Declan were going to go, we were down the Lantern Bar for about three hours, and we spilled <laughs> no, numerous times. L lantern Bar. Oh no, yes, oh no, looked after it and said he'd shine thanks it for us. Thanks, Unroe, for the smoke effects down in Unroe's bar. Thanks, Unroe, thanks. The smoke machine, Unroe, oh, thanks. <laughs> right, boy, see you. <laughs> John Rooney, John, what's the comment? What he has to show us? Drink him. Aye, aye, aye. Go ahead. This fella, this, uh, this, this man says he doesn't drink. Well, I think we have caught him red-handed. No, no, no. Aye, aye, aye. I think we've caught this man red-handed. What is it? We can't. to speak to that lad. McGorn here. Come here, McGorn. That's a good Donegal man. Leitrim, I think. Oh, God, we're here from Leitrim and Galway. Where are you from yourself, John? Huh? Where are you from? <laughs> oh, Galway, Galway. What are you doing up here? Hi. <laughs> there, talk to that young man. What do you think? Where are you from? Where are you from? Town. Town? Good man. Look at that young fellow there. No! Where are you from? Two years. Families, Phil McLoon, Sean Slevin and families. Your comments tonight. <laughs> what? What's our comments tonight? Born of jubilation. Thought I'd never live to see this day. About 45 years of sheer disappointment. My own son playing time after time after time. Hard luck stories. But yesterday crowned it all for me. You remind me. Sorry, go ahead. You remind me at the time as a child I used to listen to the radio. And Charlie Gallagher, former God rest him of Cavan, used to knock over point after point, and we were defeated year after year. I thought I'd never see the day myself. Yes. Well, I'm a proud man tonight that I have lived to see this, and I'm very proud of the team that turned out, the best team 
I must say, in spite of everything, we had good teams, very good teams, but yesterday I don't think we ever had a team to compare with what we saw in Crow Park. Very for good. spirit, determination, class and skill and style. Just first class. You might have something to add to that. I got Harley after that kind of a tribute, EP, but uh, as an old, a very old player and has been in the club here for years and years, we went to Clonus years after year, went to Casement Park. I never thought I would ever say that, first of all, that Donegal would ever get into an Ulster final. But then the breakthrough was made in 72. We won it. We, won it. we were in 66 as well. But we made the breakthrough. And after that, things just work out very well. We had a good uh, youth coaching prob uh, thing here going in Donegal. And we won the under-21 All-Ireland Championship in 1982. And then repeated it again. And once you make the breakthrough, you're there. And I was quite confident, even before yesterday, that once we got into the final, that it would be the first of many. And I was, there's nobody as, as elated as I am here in Ballyshannon. We're here with the GA all our lifetime, and yesterday was the culmination of all our efforts and hopes and dreams over the years. It was great, and I thank God I lived to see the day. Thanks, Sean. Did the ladies have any comments at the stage? What's the feeling? <laughs> Have you? Elvis! Have you coming for Elvis? Have you coming for Elvis? This is where it all happens. The urn at Bally Shannon, then you're in the real Donegal. Where the O'Donnells defended Donegal for years. At the Ford at Bally Shannon. Now you have it. Come here. What about Arkans 2 and 3? Oh yeah, this is I can't talk to you. Oh great, boy. Yeah. What do you think yourself? Very good. One of the best. Well, Gary saved the day on a few yes, occasions I, yesterday. He brought, he brought them over to the FA. Ah. Ah, well, you, couldn't pick, you couldn't pick any player of it. I've seen you on the Cusick stand. Where did you get yeah. your ticket? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think it, I got it in Bundorn. Bundorn? Dublin. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> I would say it was a very good game of uh, football. Uh, both teams uh, was at a hectic pace there for most of the match. But uh, I thought that Donegal were the deserving winners in the end. They played most of the football there today and Dublin had no answer to them. Up Donegal. And you know second everything that last that last speaker said. <laughs> I waited a long time for it. <laughs> Nobody we not admit that he's a, on the Finn Harp squad. Sorry. <laughs> Another shy woman. Oh, it's a very much to say about it. Gonna come. Catherine. Well done, boys. <laughs> What's, what's the story? Very proud of Donegal. Great display. Fantastic display. Best footballers in the country. And what about what about the club championship? Uh, it'll be well contested. I think uh, I think Billy Shannon, uh, Kelly Beggs, uh, Aero and Billy Kelly Beggs, it'll it'll be final. Hopefully. Whoever can stay off the beer. <laughs> I think we'll manage it. Manage Menace Boyle in the final. <laughs> Pretty good. Billy Shannon. Lights of the 
advanced cars. Party are arriving. We have Tom Daly, our club chairman, Jack Grimes, our treasurer, Peter Campbell, club PRO, John Travers, who is doing MC here, club vice chairman. And here comes Sam! Here comes Sam! Brain Murray, Sylvie, and Gary! And here comes Danny Gold, Captain Anthony Malloy! Listen to the crowd, listen to it! Sam is hoisted high! The three year rule men, Brain, Sylvie, and Gary. Hard way, stay! Brain, look at me! And here's the man himself, Brain McNiff! Sean Slevin, club vice president, former county player, big hug. Dick and Murray, John Cunningham, John John Cunningham, Gerton Gammigan, Barry Cunningham, Sean Charlie McGrew, Charles McMillan, Margaret McCoy, Charles McCoy, I keep thinking of Charles Maddox Boy, Jimmy Lewis, Paul Cotton. Dr. Austin Kennedy, Martin Sherman, Anthony Hilton, Now we have the full platform party on. Fuzzy Travers, Peter Cullen. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call on the chairperson of the Bally Shannon Town Commissioners, Mrs. Anne McGowan, to say a few words. Sylvie hoisting her in his air in town. Could we have our best of all, please? You'll have a chance to meet Sam in a minute. Mrs. Anne McGrim. Shh. Matt Gallagher. Shh. 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 Mrs. 
This is Anne McGowan, chairperson of the Ballyshannon Town Commissioners. The proudest moment of my life was when the referee blew the final whistle in Croke Park on Sunday, and I realised the Donegal Ireland football champions. for me to welcome the team to this historic town of Ballyshannon. A town that has produced many great players down through the years. The men of the present squad, Yari, Brian and Sylvester. and congratulate Anthony Malloy and all the members of his team. I want to thank the residents of Valley Shannon for the marvellous display of colour they put on their homes. To the hard-working, to the hard-working members of the area club, of the town who put on such a marvellous display on their premises. Yeah. And lastly, to everybody who turned out here tonight in such wonderful crowds and everyone associated with this great team. Push forward, please. Uh, before I introduce my next speaker, uh, Tom Daly, I'd like to say a few words. Number one, to the ladies behind the team, Marion Doherty as County Secretary, Mrs. Hugh Daly, Tom's mother, Francis Crowe, and all the wives and girlfriends that contribute so much to the success of the team today and yesterday. Um, People in Ballyshannon will appreciate how much Tom Daly has done for both the area and the county. So Tom Daly, Tom Daly, chairman of the Town uh, Area Club, will now address you. Tom Daly, hoist the Sam. A Cahirac, a Cahirac Commissioner Bill Arshani, a Cahirac Common Luxa Scale to the Gael, a Gildina Usa, a Leg, a Small Nana Dubsa, a Son Full Common Area, a Theo Fauci, a Corriv, a Condinia, a Chalka Bill Arshani. Is a coach Starwell a show? Then Chatter Augustan Kunde Augustanish Augustanish Babylon. Her son gained your tire lover and not the Fauci a car with foreign into Telecano. Kurgi Fauci Rupu. It's a privilege and an honour for me, as chairman of the Area GA Club, to welcome the victorious Donegal team here tonight, accompanied by the prize Santa Fe. This victory. 
This victory has touched a very, very deep chord in everybody who has worked for the GAA at any level in Ballyshannon and throughout the county of them in the present generation and in the past. The collective, the collective success, the collective success which created our county team in Coke Park yesterday has very much to do with the tremendous contribution of the GAA clubs, all 37 of them, throughout this county. For without the clubs, we would have nothing. <laughs> 20 years ago, the winning of the first Ulster Senior Championship in 1972 marked a watershed for the GAA in this county. Over the past 20 years, there has been a phenomenal growth and development uh, in the GAs in Donegal. And that growth has had most to do with uh, the underage system, which emerged after that victory in 1972, and which was as much in evident in Ballyshannon as anywhere else. The three local men who tonight have the honour of holding it off to Sam McGuire won their first championship as under-12s with Ayr Rilla. On that team, we also had people like Brian Tully, who made such a great contribution to Donegal football up to and including this year. There is a great lesson for every young Pentham Gaelic Games from what we see here tonight. It's now possible after over a century of failure to achieve the ultimate when you put on the Donegal jersey. I would like in a very special way to pay a tribute to the public of this area, of the county at large, and of the neighbouring counties who have given the team such tremendous support and encouragement over the past few weeks. The only significant payback that the public get from what they put into the GA at all levels is success like this. It is significant that the venue for tonight's homecoming is so close to the home, the original home of Brian Murray and Gary Walsh. Where Brian Murray and Gary Walsh are came down here. And now Gordon, Gary's father, proudly laughs the Sam McGuire Cup. Gordon, who spent a lifetime as an official referee. At this stage, I would just like to conclude by urging the public to continue the spirit to support Ailmore, the other clubs in Donegal and elsewhere, so that this success can be repeated again and again. Yeah. At this stage, at this stage, I would like, I would like a bit of clearness, please, for uh, the Cahirlik of Donegal County Board, coming look to that scale, Noel McCall. A Cahirlik in the heat, Cahirlik, Eirua, Ballyshani, I guess Anthony and John Nocht. Shaw eat the star will eat the broad will a gazier die the witcher your canal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed a very historic moment for everybody in Donegal.
we have waited a long time to see Sam coming into this country. We have finally done it. I want to acknowledge the contribution made by these three lads here to the winning of Sam. Sylvester could last in us again. Uh, I also want to compliment the club in choosing this site, the Fair Green, to host this gathering on the night that Sam came to Valley Shannon. I know you have done it to recognize the wash of a great girl who is no longer with us, the late Hugh Daly. Yeah. Hugh, Hugh, for many years, was Mr. G.A. in the county. And it's a pity that he and fellows like John McDermott didn't remain alive to see Sam coming into their native town. I also want to acknowledge and recognize the tremendous contribution made by all schools in the area, but in particular by the De La Salle School. They are the only school that is playing GAA exclusively in Donegal at the moment. So well done. to the teachers, somebody else at the school. Finally, I want to thank the e -Rail Club for putting on this magnificent show tonight, the tremendous platform they erected here. And finally, I want to thank all you people who supported the team in Crow Park yesterday and the people who weren't able to get there. You were all part of this historic victory. And finally, may I thank all you people who came out tonight to welcome us home. You've been very patient with us, but we had tremendous crowds all the way from Longford to Leakman and a tremendous reception in Sligo and a huge one in the home of the great man himself, Brian McGinnis. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for the Cape Mike of Galair. Thank you all. Now I'd like to call on the captain of the Donegal team, All Ireland champions, Anthony Malone. Akarja, Rufla, and the people of Ballyshannon. It's a great honour for me and I'm very privileged to bring Sam McGuire back to Ballyshannon here. I'd like to thank you for a great turnout here tonight and the great reception that you have given us. Thanks very much. There's no doubt. There's no doubt you must be very proud of the three lads standing up here, two former club players now, Brian Murray, Gary Walsh and Sylvester. <laughs> and I also must recognise Brian Terry, who is, who is very unfortunate not to be with us, uh, as he put out earlier on due to injuries, but I know he was a very proud of Brian as well. I also must give a special word of thanks to a man who's had Brian McEnough 
for, for keeping faith in me and reinstating me as captain again for this year. Thanks very much, Brian. So just once again, thanks very much for turning out tonight. So great, thanks very much. Okay, and finally, it gives me great pleasure uh, to call on Brian McNeith to address you. Shannon. Just, I would like to be very brief. I always have to say when I come to Bally Shannon as a Pandora man, I feel something special because in Bally Shannon I learned by football. And in a life such as this, people have to be recognised and it's only fitting that we stopped outside the house of the late Hugh Daly. A former county secretary. And also the great John McDermott must be remembered tonight. But uh, however, this is a night for festivities. You've produced some great players in the past, but to my left here, you have three great heroes, Sylvester, Kelly and Brian Murray. But for injury to my fulfillment, I'm quite sure, and they and Terry. There are another three men as I come up to town. I met John Cairn and I thought of his son, Jermud. Jim the match is by Jermud. And I forgot that Tommy McDermott, good for immigration, but definitely the being killed last Sunday. It's, it's running very late. There are many things I would like to say in this town, but I must recognize the work, the same as the Coyote, of the Delisle brothers at the top of the hill. Because your adopted son in behind Matt Gallagher gives some performance at Court Park. In conclusion, in conclusion, as I said in the beginning, there's many people here tonight, there's our children, and I would ask you to be very orderly in your way home and give us the opportunity to move on to the new three club in Ballantyre and then to the Diamond in Donegal. <laughs>